Medical breakthroughs are improving our lives almost every day. One of the most exciting areas is the use of stem cells for a growing list of disorders. Dr. Bill Johnson of Innovations Medical Stem Cell Center is here to tell us about stem cell work done right here in North Texas. Good morning. Good morning. I am so excited about this. So let's first start by talking about who oversees the use of stem cells and how they are obtained. Well, that's a really great question, Shannon, because some of the controversy and some of the discussion right now is over the fact that a lot of stem cell work is not regulated. Mm. And so what has been suggested by most organizations and what we have done at Innovations Medical is we are under the review of an in, of an investigational review board or okay. IRB and they say here's how you get the stem cells. Here's how you get we harvest fat based on their protocols and we process the fat based on the IRB protocols and that's how we get the stem cells is based as how they have set out for us to have oversight. Okay, let's talk about disorders. Do you have um investigational review board approval for using this for certain disorders? We do have, and each of the disorders has a protocol that's been approved by the IRB for us to do it. So when we, we do a lot of joints like uh, osteoarthritis, like knees and hips, elbows, we do, we have protocols for inflammatory disorders too, like oh. rheumatoid arthritis or lupus. I have a lupus patient that had, after 30 years, had three deployments recently and wow. now shows no evidence of lupus. Hmm. We have uh, we have Crohn's disease and inflammatory disorder. We have protocols for lung disease like COPD. In fact, we're doing some investigation on COPD ourselves. We have protocols for heart disease like heart failure. We have protocols for eye disease like macular degeneration. We wow. have protocols for urologic disease like erectile dysfunction and Peyronie's disease. Mm -hmm. So we have a number of different protocols and we even have protocols that kind of allow us to do uh, some other disorders not on the list, uh, do it by in a safe means with IRB oversight. Okay, explain to everyone why you would want to use growth factors and stem cells for any disorder, any of the ones you just mentioned. Growth factors are the messengers our cells use and we have an animation here that kind of explains if we have tissue that's injured that tissue releases growth factors to tell the body that it's hurt then what happens is cells come in white blood cells first and other cells eventually stem cells come in and they lay down the new cells and do the healing so it's that combination of growth factors and stem cells that does almost all the healing that our bodies do what we're doing now is providing it to areas that don't provide it well or or can't provide it at all like the central nervous system we're trying to provide stem cells into those areas to promote healing that's not been able to be done before okay you mentioned injuries how does that work well injuries is a really big area and increasingly because evidence is showing for instance if you break a bone we put stem cells into the area then we see quicker healing of the bone and we're seeing that we can also heal some things, especially in the vet world, lots of good evidence that we can heal things like ligaments and cartilage that can't heal themselves. Mm -hmm. So it's really becoming a big part of the sports injury world. And you see a lot of professional athletes that are getting stem cell work as part of their treatment for sports injuries. Okay, real quick, uh, two-fold question. How long does it take and what about recovery time? Well, the process itself takes about 10 to 15 minutes to harvest the cells mm -hmm. and then about an hour and a half to process. So you're in the office a couple of hours. Recovery is really pretty minor. You've got a little place of liposuction that most people can do their regular activities after a day or two. You may be bruised and swollen for a week or two, but usually recovery is pretty mild. Okay, Dr. Johnson, thank you very much. Really inf interesting information. We'll chat a little bit more. You can call 214-669-6948 for more information about stem cell therapy or log on to Innovations Stem stemcellcenter.com.